uh, we do recognize that Pinnacle is a business, uh, is the lone manufacturer of feed in Barbados. And if they're being impacted by the rising price of freight and grains, then inevitably um, it would impact their bottom line, bottom line and therefore they would have to look to recoup some of that cost. What we are concerned about is the level of increase. Um, initially we started at a 10% and the government of Barbados committed to putting in a $2 million support to cover a three months period which was May, June, July and at the end or before we could reach the end of July and before going back to negotiations um, we saw that there was information in the press suggesting that the price would go up by as high as 26 percent. Um, I then met with Pinnacle and I met with the new owners of Pinnacle and we agreed to hold off until the 6th of August. Uh, the 6th of August then I went back to Pinnacle and I told them that we are considering some other options um, which we are to discuss today and go into greater detail with before I can divulge the details of it. And uh, once we have discussed those we would then determine what is going to happen with this 26% increase. But I want to place on record that I and our weir uh, strongly, strongly support competition in the markets place. I am not one who believe that you should have uh, monopolies, in, especially in small markets, because what will happen is that you would find those monopolies will then um, be so dominant that in, invariably the consumer um, loses his sovereignty and therefore um, the dominant uh, manufacturer or the dominant um, business will prevail every time. I have seen some trends that I uh, am paying close attention to. And this is not necessarily just with Pinnacle, but generally. Um, we see it when we have fuel prices as well. And as a businessman, as a businessman, especially all of you know that my um, foundation really is within the travel and tourism industry. I have seen what competition can do. Um, and really and truly, it comes down to how we get other entrants into the market and what role they would play in making sure that the consumer gets the best value for their investment and equally that the businesses involved also get the best return on their investment. But that is always driven by competition. Anything else, you would find that you would get a movement where the flooring is always raised at a time when you have increases like how we are seeing increases in the price of freight and raw materials etc. But once those inputs come down, the flooring remains the same. And then the consumer does not get the benefit always in the reduction. And then another time comes again where you will see the increases again and that flooring is again changed. So each and every time it is changed, it is to the disadvantage of the consumer. And at the time when the inputs come down, you will find that prices don't drop proportionately. And therefore, my concern is that uh, we need to zoom in on this and look to see how we can do the critical analysis to determine what is happening, why consumers continue to have to carry the increased costs and don't benefit from the reductions in the same way that the, uh, the provider or the business or the investor uh, would benefit from the increase.